I want to start tonight by praying for people with terminal diseases. This was something I saw many times in my vision as I prayed. I saw the Lord healing people with terminal diseases, particularly cancer and then terminal diseases. And the Lord just placed it in my heart to do this as my first assignment tonight. Now, many people may not understand the value of the healing ministry until you are affected by infirmity that defies medical treatment or you happen to be related to someone who may have been infected by an infirmity that defies medical treatment. Sickness is so terrible because when, it, when you become a victim of it, it does not just affect your health, it affects your goals, your plans, am I right on that? Affects your finances, affects your mood, your emotions, everything comes under arrest. It is the reason why we do not spare, especially when God grants us this grace. And so let me just honor the Lord within a minute or two that we have. I want to speak over any person's you don't have to come out and praying for those who are here. And I hope you know that by faith you can stand for your loved ones. Some of you right now, you're already exhausted and it's as if they're just letting, you know. And as though the Lord will bring it as a confirmation. While I was praying and preparing, I had a precious couple. I'm sure that they are following right now. A man just sent me a text and was pleading that I pray for his wife. And he said, my wife is suffering stage three cancer right now. And I sent him a text. I said, I want you to connect because I'm going to be praying. It's a family in Canada. I'm sure that they are connected right now. And so let's release our faith within a few minutes. We're a family of faith. You don't have to be plagued with that sickness. Terminal diseases of all sorts. And then particularly this devil of cancer. In one minute, I'd like you to pray for yourself. Or for everyone you know. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have granted us your grace and your power to heal the sick and to rewrite the stories in the lives of your people. I stretch my hands right now in this auditorium and across the airwaves. In the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of terminal disease, cancer, all kinds of blood conditions, failed organs, already left for dead, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree this moment that the spirit influences behind those conditions, I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. Right now I decree and declare, be healed. Be healed, liver, be healed. Kidneys, be healed. Heart, be healed. Blood, be cleansed. Brain tumors, be healed. Prostrate cancer, be healed. Leukemia, be healed. organ failures of any and all sorts may they jack back to life now we reverse stage four cancer we reverse stage three cancer in the name of jesus christ and i stretch both my hands and decree and declare that this moment 
every pain, every discomfort, let it give way as a sign that the healing power has rested upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as I pray for them, I'm stirred to pray for restoration. Because when things happen like this, people lose money, they lose their joy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let the restorer restore. Let the restorer restore. Let the restorer restore. Let the restorer restore. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that so shall it be to the glory of the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let me ask you to pray one more time. Mention one area of your life that you are trusting God to visit even tonight. Go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. Don't be silent. Pray and let the God of wonder surprise you tonight. You came to church. Go ahead and pray. One area by faith that you know you are trusting God to come through for you. Release your faith. Someone pray. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Are you praying? I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, glory be to God. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. As you have declared in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your answer. I say it again, as you have declared before the Lord, may it be turned to your answer. A speedy answer for that Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. let me just tell you a word or two and then you sit down you see prophetic declarations are very powerful they are powerful because every time a prophetic word that is truly backed by the anointing is sent forth I have taught you what happens is that the spirit of wisdom follows that word the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to arrange the human actors that will make that word come to pass are we together yeah so when a prophetic word goes forth the dynamics of its operation is that in the realm of the spirit the holy spirit manifests over that word as the spirit of wisdom and he begins to bring together the human actors why because human beings are beings moral agents with a will are we together so for instance if it is a word of breakthrough the spirit of the living god begins to find available vessels now they have a right to reject him so god can prompt it in the heart of a destiny helper to help you in line with that word. The destiny helper can refuse. God will honor them, but I can tell you out of the 8 billion people, there are enough people. Somebody will say yes. You now see why the prophetic words are powerful? So that declaration comes upon you. You can't see it. You can't feel it. You just receive by faith and say amen. But when you say amen, your own part is done. But it's important for you to know what happens in the realm of the spirit. The spirit of wisdom kicks into motion immediately. And the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to bring together all the human actors that must make that word come to pass. Provided the prophetic word came with God's backing 
and it was received upon a heart that was full of faith. You see that now? Because the way God designed it is that the moment his word accomplishes what he has said, it returns to him as proof that the word is finished. You see? So the moment the word has not returned back, it means it is still working. There is something, it could be difficulty in terms of putting together human actors, but for sure it will find someone. That is the reason to you, it will be a series of coincidences. A word just came and someone just gave me an employment. No, someone did not just give you an employment. A word came and then I have a baby. No, you did not just have a baby. The moment the word of God comes forth, the Holy Spirit has the unique ministry of confirming the speakings of God, even through the lips of his servants. Can I speak over you one more time? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare in this season, may God so distinguish your life. In this season, may my God so distinguish your life. Your life will serve as an example for many that God lifts men. Your life will serve as an example for many that the Spirit of God can birth glory out of the lives of men. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. Be seated and God bless you.